Welcome to smartpaycard.com. My name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your PayPal API credentials. Now, Smart Pay Cart is my shopping cart plugin for WordPress. Now, whether you use SPC or some other shopping cart plugin, if it integrates with PayPal, you will likely have to find your PayPal API credentials and enter it in your shopping cart uh, settings. So let me show you how you can find your API credentials and also how you can set instant payment notification in your PayPal account. So let's start with API credentials. Log into your PayPal account and go to account settings. It will bring you to a page like this. Now here, look for website payments. Click on it. It will show you these options, API access and instant payment notifications. Click on API access. Now here I have already generated API keys, which is why it's saying update. Otherwise it will say add. So click on it. It will bring you to a page like this. Here you can see NVP SOAP API integration, and this is what we need. So click on manage API credentials. Here you can see it shows you the name, password, and signature. So you can just click on show. It'll give you the username, copy this, and paste it in your shopping cart settings. Similarly, password and signature. Now let me show you where you can enter this in your SPC uh, settings page. This is SPC settings page. You can access it from here as well. So here you can see there is the merchant ID, business email, username, password, signature. Now these are the three things you can get from your PayPal account, just like I showed you, and enter it here. Business email is your PayPal business email, enter that here. Now merchant ID, let me show you how you can get this one. So under your account settings in PayPal, under business information, you will find your PayPal merchant ID. So just get this from uh, business information and enter this in your SPC settings page, and that's it. So this is how you can uh, set up your PayPal API credentials in your shopping cart platform that requires you to enter uh, these credentials. Now. Let's go back to PayPal and check how you can set up your IPN in PayPal. Now, instant payment notification, known as IPN, will allow PayPal to communicate back with your website. So if you are, again, using a shopping cart platform that requires you to set up your IPN in PayPal and have it point to your website, then what you need to do is go to Website Payments and under Instant Payment Notification, click on Update, and you will find your IPN settings here. So by default, it will be disabled. Be sure to enable it. Otherwise, even if you set the notification, if this is not enabled, PayPal will not be able to communicate back. So be sure to edit the setting, make sure this is enabled, and the notification URL needs to point to whatever is your domain name. And in case of DAP and SPC, which is our plugins, you need to set it to this URL, domain name slash DAP slash DAP dash PayPal dot PHP. So based on whatever is your notification URL for your website, be sure to enter that here and enable the message delivery so PayPal can communicate back with your website. Now, it's important that if your website is running on HTTPS, make sure you use HTTPS here. If your website is running on www, make sure to enter www here. If it is not, then don't use it here. The easiest way to find out is go to WordPress settings, general settings, and here under WordPress address and site address, you will see if it's running on HTTPS and if you have a www in front or not. This is how your domain needs to be uh, when you enter it in the PayPal IPN section. So a quick recap, log into your PayPal account, go to account settings, under that click on website payments. Here you will find API access, click on it. And uh, under API access, you need to look for NVP SOAP API integration and uh, click on manage API credentials or generate API credentials if you have not done it before. Uh, to generate username, password, signature, and then enter this in your shopping cart platform. And as far as your IPN settings, go to website payments again. Here under instant payment notification, click on update. Here you can enter your IPN URL and make sure that message delivery is enabled. And that's it. If you have any generic questions about PayPal settings or about membership websites or shopping cart, you're welcome to join my Facebook group and uh, ask your questions there. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.